Alrighty, boys. So I have a very interesting topic for you. I know you have heard of the fidget spinners before. I mean, like that was a, that was a big thing. So around the time where the fidget spinners were coming out, I got this thing. It's called a fidget cube. All right. You know? I want one very badly. You have one. I See, think. Here, here's here's the thing, though. It's for fidgeting. Like if you're like in like an office meeting, you can, like fidget with it or whatever. Yeah. But here's my problem. If I, like, had this in class and you just heard somebody go, like. you, It's not picking it up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, Hang on, wait, like, wait, 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 wait. Where you had it, it picked up a little bit. Go back. Hang on, go back. Okay. Well, this, um, this is, like, the, the switch. It's like a switch, pod. yeah. Yeah. And, like. Okay, it's not picking up again. I really hope you can hear it. No, oh, you can't shoot. hear it. It did pick it up well, like, for like a second. The switch side makes noise. Okay, there it is right there. It's picking, this, like, picking it up. This like this spin side yeah, makes, makes noise. noise. This like Joystick. this one doesn't really make noise. Yeah. This that doesn't, but these do. Can't hear that one, but I'll this is like a for calming, it. like touch thing. Yeah, it doesn't make noise. Um, and then the, 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 like the button side, and like the, three of the buttons don't make noise, but these two do make a noise. Yeah. So like, it's really cool to have. I I, I think if you had it in class or like an office meeting. And you just heard somebody like constantly like clicking it, it'd be very annoying very I, quickly. I, I could see that getting taken away in 0.5 seconds. Hey, Tyler, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> What's up? How's it going? I, miss buddy? It by, like, two I just finished my English test. We, we have literally, like, we literally are in the middle of the cold open right now. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> it's yeah, so great. Didn't miss much. It's just going to pop up. You're going to see us talking about this, and then your picture is just going to pop up, and they're just going to see Bender, isn't it? <laughs> That's <perfect>. Air Bender. <laughs> yeah, the Air Bender. <laughs> the Air Bender, the last avatar. You're the most powerful Bender I've ever seen. <laughs> Shut up, baby. I know it. <laughs> up, it was pretty good timing, too. I'm not even going to lie. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Under Controllers podcast via Discord again. I am Jake. Chase, start up. With... Oh, wait. I don't know who's at the top of everybody else's screen. I'm Chase. Top, top left <laughs> is like Chase and Tanner. For okay, me. good. Yeah, good. Top it is. left is yeah, and Tanner. Top and then... left for me, too. Okay. top right. I'm bottom right. So as yeah. you can see on my screen uh, in the podcast, I am on the right window. Chase and Tanner is upper left, Sims is lower bottom, and then Tyler is uh, lower right. So <laughs> that's why I, I just I thought am, about it. And the easiest way to know it is I am the most powerful bender. Yeah. Tyler, I'm the last airbender. I guess I'll just name everybody from now on because you guys, because typically we go, it's like I sit on the end of the table and then whoever's next to me and we just go around the table, but now we don't know who's next. So, uh, also, yeah. also who's screen like, the is, it, is everybody going to see? Like, is it going to be your screen? Yeah, it's my screen that they see. And then it's not going to change. Yeah. Well, what I'm saying is you guys don't know what order to I talk in. I'm talking about for the screenshot. people watching the podcast. Eh. No, no, well, hey, we'll figure it out. No. Upper, uh, right here, my neighbor to the, uh, to the left of me, my left. You're right, I guess. If you're no, it's your left. If you're watching this, I'm stupid. Uh, is Chase and Tanner? Uh, you guys, go ahead and say hello. Hi. That was not over here. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, my neighbor right here is Sims. Say hello, Sims. <laughs> hello. And then right below me is the most powerful bender in the world. Yes, I am. I am Bender, baby, the last avatar. 
Um, so I want to tell you guys uh uh something that happened to me today. <laughs> so, um, first and foremost, Sims and I discovered how to figure out how many apps are on. I say Sims and I. Sims discovered it and just told me uh, <laughs> how to figure out how many apps are on your phone. All right. So I don't like cluttering my phone screen up with apps. So I have minimalistic apps. I think I looked and I have 60. All right. And like to tell you how bad I am about this, I did not have the YouTube app until like four months ago. Really? I did you not. Are, I use. You are manually searching YouTube? On Safari. Yes. No way. I was using. I have, ever since I have had an iPhone, I have went to YouTube through Safari. I've what never been. What kind had, of mongrel are you? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I know, That's right? So what kind weird. of degeneracy is that? But I changed over to the YouTube app like four or five months ago, and I've loved it ever since. Like, it is so much easier <laughs> than having to go through well, Safari. It's yeah. It's way easier. So today, uh, I didn't get lunch before I left the house. I've, I've been like taking a sandwich or taking a lean cuisine or something and just throw in the microwave and heat up and eat. Uh, today is, is Friday, so I was like, eh, I'll pizza. So. I got Emily to text me a coupon for a pizza from Pizza Hut. And I was trying to order it online. And once again, using Safari, because I didn't have the app. Because I, Like I said, I just don't want to clutter my phone up with that. Oh, you're just throwing away all those Pizza Hut points? No, I'm getting the points. I have yeah. an account. It's just, I'm getting, okay. I have an account. It's right. just I didn't have the app itself. I was about to say, homie, you, you, you like, get three. Yeah, I've got like a thousand points right now. Like four large pizzas. Yeah, you get like pizza. you get like two large pizzas, and that's like a million points because they yeah. cost so much. Yeah, but um, so she texted me the thing for the coupon, and excuse me, I'm trying to use it on Safari. Excuse me, Safari, it just will not load. It will not work. I get it all the way to the checkout. I enter in the. Uh, code for the coupon, it does not work. It just like freezes the app. So I'm like, all right, well, screw it. I'll just, I'll just call them. So I call them. I say, hey, I want the daily deal of the stuffed crust uh, pizza. And they're like, oh, you have to do that online. I was like, well, I would be doing it online, but your freaking website crashed on me. So finally, I downloaded the app. And uh, I don't know why I didn't do that sooner. I absolutely love the Pizza Hut app. You know, it's crazy, Jake. Turns out apps make things a whole lot easier. They do. It's, yeah. almost, it's almost like yeah. they exist for that sole purpose. I, I, I yeah. just hate... Because, see, look, I, I only have 64 gigs of storage on my phone. I'm one of those people that when I got that's, my phone... That's a, that's a lot for a phone. I have, I, have yeah. one, I have one gig left of storage. You know why? How that many was, pictures do you have? Uh, every picture I've ever taken since I had an iPhone. Exactly. Never back those up to your, Lord, back them up to your computer and never clean offered. your freaking phone off. A lot of them though are memes, and I want get rid of them. I want to. I know I gotta save the memes for whenever it's a perfect opportunity in Discord to nah. send the meme. Chase, back me up nah. on this. You're a meme hoarder. I do. I don't, like a year ago, I deleted like four thousand memes from my phone. I think it was Crap. literally four thousand. <laughs> See, even even he parted with them. <laughs> you just, you gotta yeah. get rid of them, I, man. I, I did go through and delete a lot of them. Like I went back and deleted a lot of the cringy ones that I had from like whenever I was really, really, really into metal. And when I say that, like that was my. You guys remember when that was my whole personality? I, I remember Metal Jake. Yeah. Yeah. was my favorite Jake. I uh, I, I miss uh, him so there's still a little bit. Still that crazy. was like the start of the I'm channel, joking. Jake. What now? Yeah, that was that was, that was hard, Jake. Channel. Yeah, that it, that like there was a transition there of it was like achievement hunter fanboy Jake transitioning into metal Jake at that point in the in the midst of of uh, the channel. You've had mm -hmm. such a crazy personality transition, by the way. I've had a lot. Think, think about it. You used to be a metalhead. You kind of, you still are. I still like metal a lot. I still listen and to you are a, And you are a preacher. Those are the most the two contradicting you. things ever. You know, <laughs> you are correct. See, two complete opposites. My, my thing is, is that music is a form of expression. That's all it is. That's all it's ever been. You have people, and I mean, like, as far as being a preacher, 
and just Christian in general, yes, we sing songs for the Lord to glorify his name, but that doesn't mean that that's the only song that you can sing, you know, at least in my opinion. I mean, we all like secular music. Now, there might be a time where I'm like, ah, I really don't feel like listening to secular music. I'm going to listen to just Christian songs for a little bit, but I always go back to my secular music because I like rock music. I like metal music. I like, yeah, I like a little bit of everything. I, I just well, like, I like, right pic- quick. I like picturing in my head you being in church and you're like, all right, we're going to sing these hymns. <laughs> and then you're like, and now Cannibal Corpse. <laughs> Cannibal Corpse was one band I really didn't care about. Really didn't. I, I feel like they were more I, about I know, but that's the most. Ex- that's one of the most extreme ones I can think about. It is. Yeah, that cattle decapitation. <laughs> And um, now we will sing Infant Annihilator. <laughs> Infant Annihilator, that's another one. Um Send to you boys, Guar. Okay, now I do love Guar. Guar is Guar is an amazing band. That is one of my favorite. <laughs> that was one of my favorite. Um I remember one of the most interesting conversations. And now I present to you Tenacious D. Oh, <laughs> uh, I remember one of the craziest conversations I ever had with with somebody was uh, this has happened twice in my life actually. If I this was after I'd surrendered to the ministry, and there was a friend that I went to church with, and she 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 was a little more not as I think she was a little more agnostic towards it, but she she went to church mainly for her grandmother was the main reason she went. Oh, Sims made a costume change. Um, <laughs> nice boy. I, I, think that was, I think that was the main reason she went was just to uh, please her grandmother. But uh, we were hanging out one night, just driving. And I was playing some music. <laughs> and we got on the topic of discussing, like, singers that, that can scream. <laughs> and I brought up the fact that I, I have attempted to try uh, screaming vocals. And she said, really? I was like, yeah, a little bit. And she said, can I, can I hear it? And I was like, all right, yeah. So I did. <laughs> I did my poor impressions of, of screaming vocals, and she was very shocked. It's like, okay, I've met a screaming preacher. This is very interesting. Little did she know, he's also our DM. Yeah, that too. Yeah, there was the the dice box that I had made. That was actually a, a guy I went to church with. Uh, he made that. Yeah. And we, we, I, we had a conversation about it beforehand. I was like, are you going to like, Call me a human. He was like, are you sure you're not going to catch on fire when I hand you this devil box? No, nah, <laughs> no, nah, I asked him straight up. I was like, you're not going to like call me a heathen or anything for, for playing this. It's like, as far as I can tell, it's just a game, dude. So <laughs> he, he hey. didn't care. It was pretty awesome. And as far as he needs it's to like, know, hey. we are not, as far as he needs to know, we are summoning demons. Just leave it at that. Don't we are. No, no, we are not. That is not happening. We did We're one. summoning lemon. We did one time in one one campaign session, and that was just a joke because of a meme that I saw. And I got very mad about it. I still have that clip. That's one of the reasons that my phone storage is so full. It's a 30-minute clip of that session. Of me just being like, I'm done. I'm done. I quit. It I'm got, killing Chase. It got to the point where Ch- you and Chase's characters were literally fighting. Yeah, across the countryside because I had a lemon baby now. And you and you ran away. Mm-hmm. And I think that's when yep. you changed characters, uh, actually. Yeah, I changed back to my original character. Yeah. But yeah. I was just being an absolute <laughs> menace. Yeah. And that's you every time we play. <laughs> My boy Fook. That's because I mean, that, that's because <laughs> unkillable. <laughs> Somehow, Bradley was always there. I mean, never I, I I do remember that being hilarious of how he was literally of Chase wrote his character to literally be in it, or has witnessed every event that has ever happened. Mm-hmm. He's the great watcher. It's so funny of like he just knows for, everything. For, for, for the audience, Chase was a barbarian named Fook. That was it was, Fook me or Fook you? It was, it was, well, I was a half work barbarian, and my name was Fook me too. I thought it was you too. I can't oh, believe. It was me or yeah, you. It was, it was one of the two. two. And his fatal flaw was if, <laughs> if you said his name as if it were the F word, he had to fight you to yeah. the death now. The, the other thing. And my character was a ranger and got mad 
and said it to him. <laughs> and he, what was so great was I had given, so I had given everybody in the campaign pretty much a special item that was tailored to their character. Like, I, I can't remember what Sims' character had, and I can't, I think you it had. Was that the alchemy jug. Yes, it was the alchemy jug. I was about to say, it was either that or it was the, no, somebody else gave, uh, one of the other DMs gave you the, uh, the thing that gave you an extra spell slot. Uh, I think I think Jackson gave you that, or Cade might have given you that. But that's right, you got the alchemy jug. Tyler, I think you got some kind of. Did I give you I a, got a one? I got a wonder, a uh, a, 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 a quiver of wondrous arrows or something. That was it. That or and that thing yeah, was kick ass. Yeah, it was that. That's what it was. It was kick ass. I, I kind of homebrewed dude. that too. I really like that. So I felt really bad because I didn't ever really give Chase anything. And what was so bad is that like. Chase would roll really high on investigation and find an Never item. Find, no, he'd find a, somebody else. He would find an item that I placed there specifically for somebody else to find. So I felt really bad. I was like, all right, well, you know what? Uh, they just came to the end of this really, really big, um, uh, massive battle scene, and we were about to have a big time skip in between and a lot of downtime. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? You're in this throne. They were in the throne room of a castle that was burning, of it and the city around it were burning to the ground of this capital city because it was in the midst of a war. And I, I was like, all right, Chase, you open up a small compartment underneath the, the throne and you find a necklace that has, and I rolled for this, there's an item in the DM's handbook that it's like a necklace of fireball. And you can pluck one bead off of it and throw it and it casts fireball. Oh, nice. At third level. I remember that now. And I remember that. Now. You know where we're going. And if you pull two of them off, it would do, I think, one level above first or third level because it's third level spell. For every bead you threw, it added another level. Yes. So if you used all nine, it, it, was, it was a only, ninth level fireball. Yes. And what happened, yeah. I rolled for this. I got a max roll on it. So Chase got a fully ne a full necklace that had nine beads of fireball on it. And I remember this very vividly of whenever they started that fight, Chase that said... that every <laughs> one of them Chase, at me. Chase said, I'm taking the necklace off. I'm throwing the whole necklace at him. And I said, you're doing what? He said, I'm throwing the whole necklace. He was so mad. And... No. Did y'all watch that video of that saying, y'all? I'm sorry. Which one? You did... Yeah. Where is, where I, is like... All right, so think about that. Fireball says any point within range that you can <laughs> see. And it's like, yes. So does that mean I can cast Fireball <laughs> in somebody's mouth? Like, if they open their mouth, can I cast Fireball in their mouth? And he was like, what? Why would you want to do that? And he's like, but can I? That's still not as bad as the one <laughs> of, of when interrogating someone, you stick coins in their mouth and threaten to cast heat metal. Yeah. <laughs> It's like that oh, combo that I made too. that guy in my in my campaign do. I know the free like uh go, go you ahead, Chase. Cast delayed you cast delayed blast fireball and yep. then you use a spell to forward or reverse time and you basically make the sun yeah. from a fireball. Yeah. That's that's insane, dude. Mm -hmm. To to go back to my story mm -hmm. real quick though. I was very conflicted on what Chase was doing, because he just said, I'm taking the whole necklace and throwing it. The book stipulates you have to pull the beads off, so I, have very, I was very tempted to just let him throw a whole necklace at Tyler, and then it do nothing because he didn't pluck the beads off. But I think what, what I wound up doing was like, I, I get what your intent is, so I, I let him throw a ninth level fireball at Tyler. I sent I sent the necklace of fireball be, the beaded necklace of fireball in the chat just for future. Good, good. And I'm pretty. I can't remember if I somehow evaded it or if that was just the end of me. You didn't. You survived. I'm pretty sure. Because we were. I think I took a buttload of damage. You though. did, and then you took off and ran. Yeah, because I, I think say, I remember. I see how you lived that. Excuse me. I, I the think, Rangers have a lot of health, dude. Well, they've got high decks, too. True. Yeah. Is the thing. I died yeah. half of them I think, is what it was. I, think I you took, half of them. I think you took half damage and had very little health left, and then you ran. You just got out of there. Yeah. And then you went yeah, after your I had, 
I had to GTFO after a man threw a, a son at me. Yep. <laughs> Is this where we like split up? Um, I think actually, this was the original campaign, like the 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 one we the one we call the OG ga- uh, campaign. Yeah, the one we the started in. in there. <laughs> yeah, that, you were Bradley. There was part, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's that. There's the part that we're at now. Since we haven't played in like five years, played that one. So like five years. probably the way we're at. We're don't like, hey, don't say uh, anything that yeah, happened. Don't say anything that time. happened. They don't know. They don't know what happened. Don't say anything. We might go back to it. And no, hmm. oh him. That's uh, what I'm saying. I got sent one way, and they got sent another yes. way. Was I not there for this part? They're talking about. Uh, with the no, you were there. That was the one where you, you were. were obs- you were the, when you were obsessed with getting the Cyclops earwax. You were just a passive observer <laughs> to, to the the conflict. I've got. Hang on, I've got the video. See, so hang on. I'll show you in the because I think you're the only person that that you can see in the video. I'll try and show it on camera so you can see. I was gonna say I don't. Yeah, don't I'm show it on camera on, on, on the. Back I don't think you can be seen, Tyler. If you want to, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know. Remember what I said. Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not gonna play it. I'm just gonna go to the clip itself so that like he can see himself. Where is it at? No, Here it is. Yeah. The next day we can do that. Huh? Do what? No, I'm not gonna tanner my bad. Yeah. See, there you are in the background, and there's Tyler. Am I screaming? No, nah, not yet. I it it hadn't got it hadn't escalated to that point. No, nah, remember. It. And then that that's Austin as a person whose head you can't see. And then Chase is sitting over on the other side of him. No, that's um, yeah. You, I know for a fact you were there because you were obsessed. Of one of the stipulations was you had to have an earwax made or an earwax candle, a candle made out of Cyclops earwax. <laughs> and you, you were obsessed with keeping the earwax for some reason. I mean, you gotta have your one goofy thing in D and D, or it's not fun. <laughs> Just like how I know that at that time I had a plan for it. I'm sure, <laughs> but yeah. now if we went back, you'd have no idea what you were doing. Yeah, I mean yeah. that's like how my whole plan for that one, uh, for the one campaign that I actually got to play in that I was in underpants known. Yeah, and your plan was get underpants. Step one: collect underpants. Step two. <laughs> Step three, Step major three, profit. profit. <laughs> hey, major profit. Before we, before we go it, before we go any further, uh, can you invite Tanner to the Discord? Oh yeah, hang on one second. All right, sorry about that. Uh, Tanner wanted to get in on the podcast. He was here, but he wanted to be seen on the podcast, so <laughs> he he went to the other side of the room that him and Chase are in. All right, so Tanner, uh, go ahead and say hello now. You can actually say hello. Hello, everybody. My name's Tanner. Honestly, Hello, thought he was, it's a mark of I honestly thought he was going to do it. Uh, Ch- uh, Tyler, I believe you had a question that you uh, were asking before we clipped back in. Oh. Is my camera oh, frozen on your Oh, God, no. I don't remember. What'd you say, Tanner? Is, my camera, asking... is my camera frozen on you guys? No, no, no you're, not you're, you're good. It's coming through. Okay. You were um, asking a lot of people that had problems with the Hogwarts. I guess. Oh, yeah. Why are people mad about uh, at, at J.K. Rowling for or or Hogwarts Legacy, whatever okay. is going on? The reason well, I, know why, I know why they're mad at her. I didn't know why they're. See, mad I don't know. The, I don't know. The no. reason that they are mad is because she said, and Chase, you can correct me where I'm wrong. She said some things and like she's stirring up things politically in Britain about the trans community, about basically, let me see if I can find an actual article and make sure that I'm, I don't want to say this wrong. Chase, you can correct me as I'm going. But basically she's saying things against the trans community in England and she's, you know, she's got the money to help it politically. So she's supporting that in Britain and Hmm. You know, that was one of the things of people cling to Harry Potter as a all-inclusive th- uh, thing because, you know, yeah. it's literally about a guy that's shoved under the stairs and is not wanted by his family. And yeah. he becomes... It's a coming-of-age story. That and, like, beca- more of a you're, a... you're the chosen one story. 
you know? Yeah. And uh, it made people feel like, you know, I'm different than everybody else, but that's okay. You know, I'm special just like anybody else. So people are upset at Hogwarts Legacy. They're doing it, they're boycotting it. They're doing it in, in a form of uh, protest. But there's one guy that I watch on Twitch that he made a very, very good point about this is that literally nobody could buy the game and jk rowling would still get money for it because yeah, it's mean, her it's harry potter property she's she's still mm -hmm. making royalties off the game so she's already made because see people were saying well i'm not going to play it or buy it because i'm i'm contributing to jk rowling making money it's like no no she already made her money yeah, but she she makes money every day off of harry potter just existing yes exactly uh, so what this what this streamer did was he said that what he is doing is he's going to play the game and mm -hmm. all of the money he makes on twitch on tiktok and any donations he receives while streaming the game he's donating to a charity in britain uh I for, think, for trans yes people? and i believe the yeah. i believe it's called that, yeah. is what, all right, what that, it's called. That's good. That sounds great. But you want to know what was so funny? What? Originally, he was going to be really, really petty with it and donate it in J.K. Rowling's name. <laughs> but he decided That's not to awesome. do that. He decided that he wanted it. He wanted the credit to go where it was due, and that was his uh, his viewers because he said that that was the it was because of them that it was possible. So. Yeah. See. My here's my opinion. If you can you can agree to or disagree. Um, J.K. Rowling made the universe. Mm -hmm. She she is not a representative of Harry how Potter. people should feel about it. Yes, I think it mm -hmm. falls into the. I think it kind of falls into the same context as. Hold on. I like wouldn't see your. Uh, okay. All right. What I was saying was, I I can't even remember what the, what did I say. Um, I think you said. That uh, it doesn't matter of uh, what J.K. Rowling thinks. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it doesn't. I think it really doesn't matter what J.K. Rowling thinks because she has she's created the universe. She's mm -hmm. created the all the characters and everything. Yes, but she also, whenever a person creates an IP, once it leaves their hands, it is no longer their property it's whatever the people make of it right so people choose to love harry potter because of the story it tells not because of the person that wrote it right like her views yeah. are not reflected in the universe she created you know what i'm saying right yeah and what i was what i was kind of saying was it kind of falls along the same points as like everybody talking about kanye's music and stuff and him being yeah. anti-semitic somewhere around that way you know but people still love his music yeah yeah people still buy even, and even though him. he's been acting real weird lately he is and he's real honestly always been weird he's that dude's always a weirdo he's always been a controversial figure that's just the that's just who he is i think he just I, I lives just, off of controversy just Jesus, man and I, just be like that. I feel like Kanye is the living embodiment of all or any public any publicity is good publicity. I think that he is like the living you know, embodiment of that. Of. He also will will pick the the strangest hill to die on. Yes, like and he will pick an opinion and he will never sway, regardless of how wrong he is. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I mean, that's why they portrayed him. Wait, wait, the... Kanye, Kanye's not. Yeah, Kanye's He's not, not wrong. Like Kanye will leave. I mean, yeah. that's Kanye can't be wrong. It's 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 literally like that. Uh, of how South Park portrayed him in that one episode of like he just doesn't get it sometimes. It seems like, like the yeah. whole Alex Jones interview of Alex kept giving him an opportunity to like, like dig himself out of the hole and he like literally me who is blind to any human interaction ever was even like dude he's literally giving you a way out of this like he's giving you a way out and you're and, just digging and, deeper and he's, kanye continued to pick up the shovel he's throwing <laughs> a rope down the hole that you have dug 
to pull you out and you just keep digging. And also, I love the quote that someone said that you know that you're messed up and that you've got a very messed up opinion whenever you make Alex Jones seem sane. Yeah, whenever you make one of the one of the more controversial people say, all right, maybe what you're <laughs> saying is wrong. <laughs> maybe it's time to back off. But yeah. You didn't actually mean that Hitler was a good guy, I believe is what Alex Jones said to Kanye whenever they were doing that interview. <laughs> that, that's pretty much I what he was saying, yeah. And Kanye and just, I was like, no, I do. Yeah, and Kanye's like, as, and Alex, you can see it on Alex's face, like, dude, I'm trying to help you, please. <laughs> I would have been yeah, like, maybe, maybe we should, dude. maybe we should cut this. <laughs> maybe we should get rid of this interview. <laughs> it's like, hey, get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> that reminds me of the. Uh, there's these guys on um on Instagram that I watch. I think they're on TikTok actually, but they're they've got a series called Male Karens, and they're like like people that run. They don't run the homeowners association, but like I don't know what. They they make tip videos is what it is, but it's all comedy skits. <laughs> and one of them just says like really like crazy off the wall stuff of like, yeah. oh, what what was one of them? Um he said something about uh he he has a play on words and it turns into pedophiles, is what he says. Oh, I know who you're talking yeah. about. They're called Dick and Doug. And, yeah, yeah, and he yeah. says, the pedophiles, and he's like, wait, what did you just say? And he's like, all right, hang on, no, we, I think we need to cut this part, stop that right now. And then every now he's like, all right, blur my face out of this. <laughs> they're so funny. Yeah, those are hilarious. Yeah, they're so great. But Boy, uh, speaking on the Kanye and stuff, speaking on the Kanye and stuff, they roasted him in the season 26 premiere for uh, South, South Park. Park. I bet they did. That came out. I bet they you know, I haven't day. watched South Park in a little while. I haven't watched South Park probably in like five or six Dude. years. Yeah, the, it was a the really last, good like, South Park episode. Show. Was, uh, like COVID one? Like Return from COVID uh, or whatever? Well, that one's pretty recent. I think the last one I saw was one that you that I came over to your house and we watched, Tyler, Um, of, yeah. that you, you put it on. I think it was the the vape episode, Integrity Farms. I think it was that yeah. one. I think that was the last what, one I saw. What did Randy call vapes? It was so funny. I, I can't remember. Pussy pen. Oh, yeah, what that's what he called it. I remember whenever I was in uh in college that we had to go over, you know, the syllabus and, like, classroom rules and procedures and everything every single year or every single class that we were in. Yeah. And he talked about, all right, no dipping in class, no eating, or, you know, like, you can have drinks, just, you know, clean up a mess if you spill it, try not to spill any stuff. He's like, I prefer you not bring, like, Cokes or Gatorades or stuff in here, bring, you know, like, water, that's fine. And one of the things that he went over was, like, no smoking, no vaping, no sucking on a, on a thumb drive. And I was so yeah, confused. Yeah, no sucking on a USB. That's exactly what he said, no sucking on USB drives. And I was so confused. Because the class I was in, it would not have shocked me if someone was legitimately sucking on a USB drive. But I asked him about it after class, and he was like, I'm talking about, like, what do they call, like, jewels or whatever? I was like, oh, okay, my brain went somewhere completely different. Because I, I was like, I could literally see someone in his class taking a USB drive and just literally sucking on a USB drive. <laughs> Jake went to go talk to him and ask because he thought we were about to get rowdy in this class. <laughs> yeah, Jake was like, Boy, I got about, so about 14 glue? millibytes on this thing. In here? I didn't know we were about to turn up. Let me go get mine. <laughs> I got five gigs on this bitch. What you talking about? I got a terabyte over there <laughs> in my bag. <laughs> oh, my when goodness. God. What about floppy disk? Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, how, how about that? What are you talking about? What, what, is, what is that? Are you talking about the, the, the 3D? Is that what you're talking about? The save icon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's a one of those little political cartoons of a, a, a guy hold, or a little comic strip of a guy holding up a floppy what disk, is, and he says, uh, is this step has just became political." I said political cartoon. It's more of just a comic strip, is what it is. I, <laughs> I know, but... <laughs> like the old schoolhouse rock thing. Yeah, it's yeah, kind of. Just like deal. Deal. But he's stories, he's holding so up. Like... Uh, go ahead, Sam. I'm sorry. No, I was just saying, this is one from, like, gaming podcast. Welcome back, everybody, to, like, 
All right, guys. So, uh, I don't know if y'all are last week. <laughs> oh. I mean, we did have we a good did, podcast. Uh, we, we did somehow go from a tangent of, of Hogwarts Legacy to Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> But we're talking about controversial figures is what it was. You ever played that game, uh, like, what is it, Eight Steps to Bacon? No, I've never played that game. Where, where it's it's like you, you look up any random Wikipedia thing, and then yeah. you have eight clicks to get to Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then you somehow always end up at Kevin Bacon. There, There's one of those games that me and Jeremy used to play of you would pick a movie, you'd name a movie. And you could somehow relate that movie to Star Wars via via the actors. That yeah, that's the same it. way. Yeah. It, that's the Kevin Bacon game. Yeah. <laughs> but we just well, somehow well, did that. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's all of our podcast are that like you start and then you like and you just go. If you start yeah. like listen to the first five minutes and then like whatever topic we're talking about then and like our last topic. Have no correlation with yeah. it's like we'll see no world. That's just the way that my I'm brain like, works most of the time. Go ahead, Tyler. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna go back to Hogwarts Legacy because I'm literally playing it right now. <laughs> but um We'll get back there. I love the game. It's amazing. It is the best Harry Potter game I've ever played in my life. Like um, there's is. only like five Harry Potter games other than the Lego ones, right? It no, there was there's all, like a game for every book, like on the PlayStation Two. I about say, I remember the PlayStation Two games because people make the joke mm-hmm. of feeling like PlayStation Two Dumbledore. Yeah, PlayStation Two Hagrid. Yeah, Hagrid. But, um, it it feels like the combat feels kind of like Star Wars: uh, Fallen Jedi. Really? Where where you've got that like some soul moves steel. you can block, some moves you can't. Yeah, that soul um, steel. The combat, yeah, it's soulsy. The combat is super fun. It's incredibly fun. Y'all still hear me? Yes. I think Tanner, yeah. Tanner dropped. The combat? Just, yeah, yeah he's going to go left. do something. Oh, I got you. He'll be back. All right, I, the, the combat, the combat the is extremely is so fun. Too. Yeah, the skill tree is cool. You can learn the unforgivable curses, which I didn't think they'd let you do because you and are like, a student. Even, even the side quests, like some of the side quests, it feels like. Like in other games, side quests were useless. Yeah. Like there's no point in the side quest. But these side quests like actually have like good rewards. I don't feel like the side quests are like yeah. They you, like you you either I'm learn so scales from them. Yeah, yeah, I am too. Like, I'm I'm like look, what the, level am I right main story, On the main story, it's like recommended level eleven. I'm like level like seventeen. I'm twenty two. Just because I've been doing the side quest. I saw that uh. That that game, I think, has set a record or broke a record on Twitch of like the most they have the most done. viewers yeah. for a single player game. Also, it's like so uh, good. I saw that like, the it's uh, such a well made game. The majority oh, of players have chosen Slytherin as their house. You know well. why? Because yeah. they want to be like, evil. Obviously. They want to be evil. Yeah. But yeah. here's a tip. Here's a tip to anyone that's playing it that doesn't want to be Slytherin: you can be evil in any house. So my you don't point, have my to question be for you. you did is I picked Ravenclaw, you picked Hufflepuff. Is Sebastian Slytherin for you? Yeah, he's he's Slytherin in every scenario. And is Natty also Gryffindor, Gryffindor. for you? Yeah, yeah. Right. I don't think their house is changed. Wondering. Who were like who were like the three friends you had to meet? Like they oh, were. Bro, I, can't, I can't. I can't remember their names. Dang. I talked to them once. Uh, and was like, "I'm going to learn spells to kill people." Bye. And then never yeah, came back. Yeah. Like, like, like modern Pokemon games. Like, did you get all the girls' gobstones? No. <laughs> Dude, that's such a fun quest. I, I'm kind of like. I did a thing where I explored the entire castle using Revealio everywhere and got super high level just doing that. And nice. I'm I'm going through it again, looking for a little gobstoppers, like just kind of as I go. So, gob- <laughs> can uh, can you gob- play Quidditch? Bones. You cannot play no. Quidditch. I'm surprised that you can't play Quidditch. President the Quidditch season has been canceled. Somebody Quidditch. got hurt. 
What? The Quidditch season got, got canceled. Somebody, and, uh, somebody got hurt. Ah, ah, gotcha. I like that they that they use that. Damn Quidditch. I, I like that they. Also, in, I'm assuming also, they say that in the game. Uh, I'm assuming they yeah. say that in the games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Professor Black says that, that at the very beginning of the game. That's so great that the they head, that they actually address that. That's pretty the cool. headmaster. Instead yeah. of oh, he's still a professor. No. Instead of going for the angle yes, of like, oh, is. it it hasn't been developed yet. It's like, oh yeah, someone got hurt from playing Quidditch. <laughs> what did they call Dumbledore in all the movies? Professor Dumbledore. But look. Dang. Uh, Ray, you can you guess? Take a guess what year this game takes place. It takes place like a thousand years before the main game, doesn't it? I mean, the main thousand, movies, right? A thousand years. Not yeah. quite a thousand. I don't know how many years is it. When do the when do the movies take place? I don't. know. Movies take place at mod, in modern day, don't they? Not not like no. modern day right now, but modern day for the time, didn't they? I think eighties, right? Peyton? in like eighties yeah. or nineties. Well, I'm trying to remember. Because Fantastic Beasts late eighties. Is it? It's Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic Beasts is the twenties. Hang on, I, I, think, I got you. I think Fantastic Beasts is the twenties, and um, this game takes place in eighteen twenty. What? What's the first? Hang. What's the first uh, movie called? That's Sorcerer's the... Stone. <laughs> Sorcerer's Stone. No, yeah, 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 sorcerer. Or the philosopher's stone if you're from England. Yep. Um Sorcerer's Stone takes place in the year in nineteen ninety one. What the hell did I just do? Okay. What'd you do? I walked up to a statue and it ate me. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it took place in 1991, same year that the Black Album came out for Metallica. So Harry Potter was they listening to Metallica? It's possible. That's funny as hell. It's very possible. Everybody knows. That's the rebellious going. music that they were listening to at Hogwarts. I have, everybody I have knows Voldemort's favorite band. For, for you boys. What'd you say, Sims? I said I have a funny story for you boys. What is it? So, so everyone, y'all know that I drive through DoorDash. I'm scared of what you're about to tell us. Is it what? Is it what you told us in stream last night? Or on stream? No. Okay. All right. Go ahead. This is never mind. Anyway. So I got this order. It was the CVS pharmacy. Uh-huh. And I was like, all right, cool. And I said, like, one item pick up from CVS pharmacy. And I was like, all right, cool. So I go in there, click on my app. They're like, I'm here. I'm going to pick up the order. I got to, like, shop for the item. Guess what the one item was that I had to pick up? Was it condoms? Condoms. Or was nope. it plan B? Nope. Uh... Lube. Foot lube. No. No. Give us a hint. You're you're like in the ballpark. Like you're all around. Bro, tampons. Pick up some cock nope. suckers. <laughs> no. <laughs> did they did they make you pick up uh I'm going to use the 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 technical term for it, a personal massager? No. Dang, all right, I've got no clue. I I wait well, on no. What is it? It was a pregnancy test. Oh! And I was Somebody like, was too scared to even drive to go get dang. it. Dang! Yeah. So um, I didn't. We all. Wow. We just completely whiffed on that one, boys. And they on their like thing it was like one item. It was just like a pack of one. Well, they didn't have it. So like you can click like they don't have this item, and it's like like substitutions. No, like the customer already said, like, yeah, they don't have this item, and like, give me this instead. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I got what they wanted instead. So I go up to pay for it. And I have to use, like, my red card, uh -oh. which is like, it gets declined. So I have to call DoorDash, and I'm like, look, my red card got declined. 
<laughs> and we're like, buy a pregnancy okay, test. We'll just, they were like, we'll just add more money to it. I was like, all right, cool. They had like added more money to it, swipe it again, mm-hmm. still gets called. I'm like, I got to call it again. And they were like, okay, well, is there any way you can just like pay for it out of pocket and we'll refund you? Like, if you send us a picture of the receipt, we'll refund you. I was like, yeah, sure. So I had to buy a two pack pregnancy test. Sims, do you yeah, get your own bank I'm... statements? Or do they still go to your mom's house? I don't think I'm, I did. I'm sure he probably told whoever. Because that would be that would be like the greatest story ever of your mom opens your bank statement and sees Walgreens on there. It's like, what you even or oh no, it wouldn't show up if you bought a pregnancy test at Walgreens. I was about to say, somehow she finds I was like, um Hey Sims. <laughs> no. Nah. I could see that happening. Just like surprise. Well, you weren't supposed to know yet. <laughs> when, when you dropped like, it off, did you leave a little note that said, good luck? <laughs> nah. I hope it's whatever you want it to I mean, be. It was like, I was like, this is my last delivery of the night. So I was like waiting for my dash to end. And I saw the dude like come to the door and grab the bag. <laughs> and I'm taking it yeah. And I was like, Oh, you know he's sweating oh. right now. You know he's sweating right then and there. Yeah, he's sweating. Well, I, I, I yeah. mean, it depends if they if they're looking to have a baby. They're either uh, they're way, probably still sweating. Either yeah. way, my boy's sweating. They're probably still sweating to find out if if he's going to be a dad, whether it's good, whether they want saying, it you know, right now or not. Either way, Peyton, Peyton, you realize you call somebody to have a panic attack. <laughs> you you, you, did you, know, like, you like, thought about that? You, 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 <laughs> they don't have the clear not blue. Only, what should I get? Not only that, the, this man was waiting on you to bring that. Yeah. And the whole yeah. time he was like, oh, God. Just sitting there freaking out, just worried. Because the, the wait is what kills you the most, not the answer. Yep. Can't confirm. Can't confirm. But, um, yeah, I can also confirm. But um, back to... Back to game news. Yeah, Harry Potter's great. I mean, Hogwarts is great. I love this game. I got a sweet broom. You've always loved the, the franchise. Always love Harry Potter. Don't really give a shit about J.K. Rowling. I mean, never have. Uh, But, yeah, this game is really cool. To, to me, it, it's in that same vein of you've got to have degree of separation between art and the artist. Now... Yeah, I will say this from personal experience of we all know the Ryan Haywood situation that happened at Achievement Hunter. That's been that's not new news to anybody. But sometimes it is kind of hard to go back and watch some those older Let's Plays that he's in. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest. I can't watch the Let's Plays with him in it. It's 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 very hard to because like I'll, I'll start to watch them and yeah. then I'll hear him say something and yes. be all happy and I'm like, dude, you fuck somebody's life up. Yeah. I can't. I can't listen to you be happy and fuck around. And the, some of these jokes you're making. Yes. That's the worst part. Anymore. That's the worst part. <laughs> yeah. Because oh, there's, there's literally two podcasts. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I know there's an RTAA of one of them where him and Michael getting into an argument. I, okay. This one, this one's not on the podcast, but I know there's an RTAA of it because Michael talks about it on the podcast. Uh, talks about it on off topic. of They literally got into an argument of Michael was leaving that day on the plane to go back home to Austin. From wherever they were at, to stay another day. And Ryan's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna stay another day." And he's like, "Why don't you just stay another day?" It's like, "Well, I want to go home. I want to sleep in my own bed." It's like, "Well, why don't you just sleep? You know, sleep here. You can sleep in here." And he's like, "Well, you know, I just want to go home and sleep in my bed." It's like, "You're not gonna be able to sleep or anything. You got kids running around." It's like, "I'm gonna be fine." He's like, "Well, my wife's not gonna watch my kids. I'm gonna. They're gonna. I'm gonna have to deal with kids." And yeah, like, like no, that's not why you stayed. It's so. Yeah, and know, knowing what he did now, it's like it's so, he was trying. He was trying to coerce Michael into cheating on Lindsay with I, him. I don't know if that's. I don't know if he was trying to coerce him into cheating, but more of it's one of those things of like he was to make trying it look, to get an accomplice. Yeah, trying to make it look less suspicious if he stay, if, if just him staying. I think is what he was going for. Of like him and my, if him and Michael stayed, he would be like, uh. It'd be less suspicious than if it was just him staying. I think is what he was going yeah, for. Yeah, but I don't. I don't think mm-hmm. Michael would be one to lie about. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't with Ryan for like eight hours the other yeah, day. Yeah, I didn't see Ryan for like eight hours. 
and sure he would have I'm, I'm sure they had rooms close to one another so yeah they would have they would have known but also i recall very vividly there being a video i think it's the one of michael and jack when they're talking about it like after it like like three day or no it's a week after it happened because it happened they yeah. fired him they took a week off literally michael makes the statement of there are going to be videos coming down there's going to be videos that are edited and there was one yeah. video i know for a fact and i know that it's still up and that part's still in it because one second because we watched it because i found it and i i had a feeling they would have clipped that part out me and sims watched that part and i played mm -hmm. it and sims like when Sim saw it, his jaw dropped. I remember, like he what, was just what, like, "What? What happened?" I don't want to quote it, but I can tell you which episode it is, and we can. I, you're I can, gonna, I can you're gonna have to quote it. Just like it, say the episode. Cut, it was. It was. Cut, uh, and then tell me what he says, and then cut back in. Hang on, I'll text it to you. It was. I, I just I, want you to tell me. I think it's enter the nega tower no i'm not saying it i think it's the nega enter the nega tower part two is what no, it is it's one of the king ones no no it's not the king one it's, it's enter the nega tower i know it is i know for a fact it is it's part two of enter the nega tower but gavin in typical gavin fashion puts a sign down that has something on it that he's expecting minecraft will censor but this one was okay, and it didn't get sent. I, I mean, it wasn't okay, but it didn't get censored, and it said, I'm sending it to you now. I think I remember what it is. Was it? I, was I it, thought you were there whenever. And it said this, Tyler. You should be getting it right now. And Ryan gets really... Uh, okay. And Ryan gets really weird with it. Of of the way he chooses to to diffuse an answer, of it's it's really odd what he says. But trigger warning: yeah. if you want to go see what he like, if you want to go see the video that we're talking about, I'm I'm a hundred, I'm like ninety nine point nine percent sure it's Enter the Nega Tower Part Two. But I'm I'm not about to look that up right now in the middle of the video. Uh but yeah, it like I remember. Sims read that sign, and I looked over, and his jaw dropped from that. And I was like, I honestly it's, thought they would have clipped that out. And which, it, it's crazy to think that, like, I remember when that episode came out. Yeah. I was, like, watching it like it was nothing. But now, like, looking back, at like, dang. There's so many weird that's, signs. That's why, I can't, that's why I can't watch things with him in it, because I'm like, I, I know there's something behind this now, and I just can't yeah. be a part of it. I still stand by mm. the most ironic thing of the whole situation is the first video or first Minecraft video that Ryan is in. Tyler, I know I sent it to you, but I don't think you remember the skin that his character had was a prison jumpsuit. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. And I saw that. I'm like, Oh What's my that gosh, that's so ironic. Now looking back on it, that's so weird, but yeah, terrible mm. situation. Yeah, I know, I know we're going to leave this tangent soon, but did, did you know that he tried to start streaming again, like, immediately, very like, soon immediately after, after that? it happened, and Twitch and banned nobody, him. Yeah, nobody was, like, watching his videos, and then Twitch banned Twitch, him. Twitch hit him hard with a ban hammer. It was... And it's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was awful. Yeah. So... Like, bro, you... There, there is hard ev evidence against. I mean, for of what you, you've of done, you and him, fans. yeah, it was disgusting. Like, oh, what was so? What was even worse was like I watched a lot of videos on it, and like they had screenshots of like, yeah, and it's so weird Snapchat Ugh. things that he had sent, and like I, against my better judgment, I like paused the video and read some of them, and I was like, uh, uh. -uh. And they're so cringy. Made so me weird. very uncomfortable. Made me very uncomfortable. But yeah, that, that I think that's all we need to say about about that. Yeah. Um, so uh, I still yeah, enjoy. Don't analyze, don't analyze YouTube celebrities except yeah, I, Markiplier. He's okay so far. I enjoy. I enjoy. I still enjoy Achievement Hunter. That was the whole point of that tangent. Was 
I, I have I do have a bit of degree of separation. It's harder to watch those older videos with him in it, but like some mm -hmm. of the stuff like po or like some of the videos that he's not in as prominent, uh, they're still like you know I can still enjoy some of the older videos. It, it's just it's so weird to see him in stuff. Is uh... oh man, bro, yeah, what is going on? Did you get eaten by eat by another I statue. No, I'm playing. I'm I'm still playing of the the game, and I'm playing on PS5. And PS5 has speakers in its controller for right. people that don't know. And like it'll play sound effects. I just walked in this room, and my controller started play, playing piano, and I don't know what what's going on, but it sounds so pretty. Listen to it. I can kind of. I, I heard it for a second there. I heard it for a second, but I don't stop. probably better that we don't hear it because it's probably copyrighted. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not, but it sounds so beautiful. It's do 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 do. I mean, heck, it. They and claim. I don't know why I'm doing it. I'm not in like a special area or anything. For some reason, uh, part of my my stream last night got muted for supposedly using copyrighted uh material, and I don't know what it's talking about. I'm in, I I figured it That's out. Correct. I'm in the music class. It's what? You're I'm in, in the music class. class. That's funny. <laughs> Chase, you haven't said a whole lot. What's go what's going on with you? What's new with you, buddy? Oh, uh, I was just looking through some of the stuff. Some of the gaming news and stuff for this month. Yeah. What you what you looks got? Like there's some, looks like there's some stuff from Halo. Some people are talking about the Winnie the Winnie the Pooh horror remake. Yeah. Not interested in the, that. The guy from Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, the guy who makes and Origins, the guy who made it, Jean Guston, yeah. apparently left Ubisoft. Mm. Dude, I could not believe you didn't know who Gaston was off. I knew who you were talking about after after the fact. I thought, you were, I thought you were talking about like a YouTuber or like a celebrity or something that just adopted oh, yeah, the name didn't Gaston. Know who Gaston was. Yeah. So. This video, I'm guessing, will be edited and coming out the 13th. It should. Monday. So, also on Monday the 13th is when we are filming the Excellent Challenge. Tyler and Sims. Um, yeah. uh, wait, 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 one second. I do want to say one thing about what you said, Chase. Yeah, uh, Halo Infinite thing, uh, I know for a fact they made Noble Team. They weren't uncanon, but they, they expanded upon them for some stuff that takes place before each. I just watched a video on that, so I want to quickly insert that. Sims, go ahead with the excellent challenge. Oh, so the 13th, when this video comes out, we will probably be per, per, still preparing for the excellent challenge. Because you've been releasing the videos at 1. Uh, about 3 o'clock. Oh, never mind. I have no idea. Do what now? No. He, he was saying that by the no. time you watch this video, we'll probably be in the middle of preparing for the uh, excellent challenge and I said well I've been putting the videos out at three so yeah you don't get off of work till five yeah well I mean I I schedule them to come out at three and then yes we would be starting it at five yeah, yeah I'm so uh, not excited to watch that video so so Sims what are you doing to prepare for it I am watching Mordecai's attempt <laughs> you're watching it and trying to gonna try and replicate it Tyler, what are you doing? Are you just going to go in? I, I was going to look up how to, like, prepare your stomach for a food eating competition. Okay. Like, you like competitive eaters, like, what do they do to, like, open their stomach up? Right. To, like, get it ready. I think. Because, like, you, you can't not eat, because if you don't eat, your stomach shrinks. Yeah. Because I so think. So you have to eat something. I, I think what a lot of them do is they'll gradually start ramping up the amount of food they eat in a day just gradually yeah. and continually but also i think they go to the gym and because you know if you're if you um if you have too many excess calories you start actually gaining weight and you i don't yeah. think you actually want that for a food challenge but i think what they'll do is they'll gradually tick up in it and then they'll um they'll go to well, the gym buddy, and everything well buddy we all know that ain't we man. already well we're already here too so yeah, it's already like yeah. a deadline. We got like three days the gym to, to get ready. But so, yeah, what like what'd you find days. though, Tyler? Uh, what 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 have you found? Nothing yet. I haven't looked yet. <laughs> oh, 
I just plan yeah, to I look. He was saying he's already in the process of looking at you too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, dude. I've been eating fifteen thousand calories a day. I'm I'm ready. All right. Uh, Chase, what other? I, I feel uh, like man. I could probably. I feel like I could probably get through a healthy amount of it just just because I can eat a lot at once. Yeah. No, I feel like I'm gonna complete it. And you you do? You know. Yeah. With the amount of dude, fruit that I was gonna put in it. Hour. At the amount of fruit I was going to put in it, I thought it was doable. But the second you told me that that fruit bowl was five pounds, I don't know if it is. Uh, yeah, honestly, there's so, it's so much. There's so much mass of food. Cause see, I thought like it's not really calorie. It's just weight. Yeah, so, it's just so much. Oh, let's go ahead. Let's let's dive into it a little bit. So it's twelve eggs. Yes, a twelve egg omelet. I have requested that my omelet is a ham and cheese omelet. I know that's my is in the video, in the episode. You might want to pick something lighter than ham and cheese on it. Because there's already cheese no, on top of it. Ham and cheese. Which, if you really want to get technical, right. I think that it's going to be thicker than the pepper, or it's going to be a heavier food than the uh, peppers and onions, in my exactly. opinion. Exactly. In my opinion. I could be wrong. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You might want to pick something lighter than that. No. I was like, you want it to be harder than it already is? Tyler, do you want yours to be uh, peppers and uh, mushrooms? Yeah. All right, I'll do. Pe- I'll get peppers and mushrooms for it for yours. Chili. We're getting canned chili. Yep, we got to do canned chili, and it's four cups of chili cheese. on top of it. Cheese. Typical American cheese. American cheese. And frigging uh, five pound a five pound fruit bowl and two biscuits. Yeah. And the fruit Bro, that's, will be like so banana, apple, strawberry, orange. Yeah, we're we're gonna change up the fruit bowl. It's supposed to be watermelon. Um, and no melon. Uh, well, no, no. I'm uh, the challenge. Is it supposed to be watermelon, uh, yeah. honeydew, cantaloupe, stuff like that? Sims is See, allergic. Here's the, here's the thing about that though. All of those fruits are ninety five percent water. Yeah. And bananas are not. You know that probably actually is why it's doable, is because it's because wa- it's melon and it's mostly just water. Yeah. Sims yeah, is I'm allergic to watermelon, like, though. I know, but I would like to still have melon because I still want to be able to do it. Only you really think the fruit is what's going to keep you from accomplishing this? Fruit yes, is five pounds of banana. Yeah, that's a lot. Fr- fruit is also <laughs> fruit is also much denser of a yeah, food. Man, it's not even like a pound. F- food, food, uh, fruit is also much denser of a food, uh, because it's in that same vein of vegetables. Of you can eat less and be more full. Exactly. I don't know. We, I mean, like it's going to fill you up. I don't think so it's fast. Matter. Like, we'll look up an actual picture of it. It is so... I looked at the one that Babish has, and it is so ridiculous. Hang on. I'm, I'm going to find a picture. Because I don't think it is it. just melon. Bro, I just... I just called a moon calf, and it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen on the planet. Don't lie about that. Moon calf oh, you eat goodness so much gracious. That it becomes radioactive. You just don't drink your oh, milk yeah. afterwards. Goodness gracious, the fruit. I couldn't eat the fruit bowl in this picture. Yeah, it's so much. But and Peyton's like, oh, well, bananas is all right. I don't understand what how it's a five pound bowl of fruit. What fruit doesn't weigh a lot. Bowl. 12 eggs yeah. with mushrooms, peppers, pork being topped with four cups of chili, two cups of American cheese, two biscuits on the side, and a five pound bowl of fruit. I don't know the if it's doable, dog. Me, dude. The biscuits are going to yes, kill me. Is. You want to know I what's know even worse? If you look what? at the friggin' omelet in the show or the fruit bowl, it's a much smaller fruit bowl, first of all. Second of all, there's strawberries in this thing. It looks like apples. Yeah. Where do people get that it's that it's cantaloupe, watermelon, and honeydew? I see some honeydew. I, I see some cantaloupe. I Okay, may, okay, maybe these aren't strawberries. Maybe that's watermelon and not strawberries. But they dang sure look like strawberries to me. I think it's strawberries. I really don't think it's melon. <laughs> but you just do five pounds of around. whatever Wait. fruit you got. I only have some apples right now is all I've got. And maybe a little I'll bit d- of grapes. I'll do five pounds of grapes, man. 
No, it's a fruit bowl. I can load up on grapes. You gotta get that. We can we, we can put mix. grapes and uh we can put grapes. Five and pound of grapes is a lot of grape. It is. Yours can yeah. be like fifty percent grape and like can I can I smush it and wait know. a little while? You can do it however and you want then, to, dog. It's a challenge. About, you can do whatever I, you got to. Can I smush it, wait a little while, let it ferment, and then just drink it? Um you only have an hour, so <laughs> Yeah, you can have, have an five hour. pounds of wine is what I'm asking. No. Dang. Oh, and we get a you glass don't wanna, of You don't water. want to make a hospital for it? Huh? Do what, hey, Peyton? Hey, you forgot about the glass of water. It's just a glass yeah, of the, water, yeah. The man. cool, refreshing glass the of gla- water. The glass of water is what's going to allow this to be accomplished. Are you sure you're going to hinge everything on a glass of water? Oh, wow. Yeah. So Emily can hear me from the other room, and she just texted me with a picture. The heaviest fruits are pumpkin, watermelon, jackfruit, banana, lemon, apple, banana. and strawberries. Boy, Dude. I told you banana was Dude. heavy. So watermelon Water. is also heavy, but it's like yeah, 90% I guess water. Is too. You would think it wouldn't be heavy. That's so weird. Because I, I like. Because literally, my parents, when we hey, get watermelon, man. When my parent, when we get a watermelon, my parents used to would literally like for dinner. This is what they would do. Just but they wouldn't eat anything. They would eat an entire half of a watermelon. I'm not talking about like a little circular one from the store. I'm talking the big long ones. You guys, I mean, you guys are from the south. So you guys know what I'm talking about. A southern watermelon. Yeah. So yeah. they they would just eat that for like. I don't know if that's five pounds. If half of one would be five pounds, am I maybe a, that's like a whole watermelon. Nah. A whole watermelon. Oh, man. I feel bad for you guys. Man. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, my God. Do y'all have a digital? Does one of y'all have a digital scale? No, but we need to get one. We need a digital scale. See how much we weigh after. For the fruit. Well, I was talking about for the fruit. Oh, I was talking about how much food we're about to intake. We can also still do that way before and after. Well, I was just I, thinking I can get a because like I can get a where we're probably gonna get our fruit. You just weigh it on their thing there. Well, see, that's 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 not gonna work because of well, never mind. We're not doing watermelon. I was about to say because then if we weigh it that way, you've still got the skin and everything. Like for, for watermelon, for for instance, yeah. you'd, you'd be cutting it out and everything, so it's not gonna weigh five pounds by the time you get the the rind off or get it cut out of the rind and everything yeah. and all that. Goodness gracious with all the fruit we're gonna have left over after this. You guys are gonna have to take no, some fruit dude. home with you. The the fruit anyway. I'm probably gonna go after first. I'm not gonna lie. No. I love fruit. The thing that I know for I'm a fact not- I have seen some I've seen a lot of man versus food. I've also watched a lot of Eric the Electric. Be sure that you don't just spend all your time on one thing. Mix and match a little yeah, bit yeah. because eventually you'll get your palate will get dude, tired and everything. You're giving away the the strategy. The secrets. The strats, man. He literally, you can watch people do this. That's literally what Man vs. Food yeah. did. If he was uh, like, this is what you uh, do. Alright, look. I'm gonna go ahead. Look, I have a whiteboard here. Uh-oh. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna write down my winning strategy. Alright. Ready? The, uh, the other thing. One second, I gotta... One of the things that um that I was also going to offer, I was just going to put it on the table, and if you want to use it, you can. You don't have to. I was going to put free choice peanut butter. Like if you guys just want a little bit of peanut Absolutely butter, absolutely not. Just to clean your palate, and well, no, that's what peanut people butter? use. Yeah, that's what people use to help. Uh, especially but in a challenge a, like it's, this, it's it's not a taste test. It's an eating contest. You don't want peanut it's butter. No, no, it, no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. Is that when you're eating one so much of one thing, your palate gets tired of it. Yeah, see, I understand that. So you can there's, mix there's already, with something else. There's already, yeah, but there's already a variety of things we have to eat. Yeah. And pe- peanut butter is so heavy. Ah, you don't eat a whole bunch of it. Right. Just a little bit. Watch this. Uh, Look. I'm not doing peanut this butter. Is, this is your glass of water. And this so, is your two biscuits. What Mordecai does and I believe this is he's going, he's going biscuit dipping. He takes you the biscuit biscuits dipping. and crumbles them up 
in his glass of water. And drinks Boom. the biscuits. Yes. All right, that's cool and all, but I'm not drinking bread, dude. I'm not dude, drinking I'll bread, do dude. It. Put that on if a shirt. It allows me to complete this challenge. Please I'll put that on a shirt. Bro, can that be our, can that be our first merch? I'm not drinking bread. Dude. I'm not drinking bread, hey. dude. Hang on. That might be the first. That might be the first shirt we make. I'm not drinking bread, dude. I think I didn't put a picture of a beer on it. You got a picture of what? And then put. Of what? No. Nah. It's what Mordecai does, and it's bound to work. I was just... a picture of a of a beer on oh, a beer of a beer. I, I'm not drinking bread, dude. I was gonna say put literally a picture of of like this of like a an animated picture of biscuits and water. I'm not drinking bread, dude. Too. Just a, a little biscuit floating in a glass. Yeah, of water. that's pretty. Uh, yeah, that's pretty great, bread, actually. Dude. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. Photo from the excellent challenge episode where he does it, it has the bread or the biscuits and already. See, in the I don't, I don't want to pull that one though because I'm afraid that we'd get a cease and desist from JG Quintal. I'm like, hey, we would. uh, which I honestly, I work with somebody that could probably draw it for us. We just have to. Right. Get it designed after that. Or get it, huh? You don't know how, how close to the bell I just was. My phone was at 1%, and I didn't want to say anything before I plugged it in. That's I knew what it you were quit. doing. That's what you were doing, running to find a charger. No wonder I couldn't understand what you were saying whenever you were running away. I knew the second I said, my phone's at 1%, it'd die. So I, Honestly, was, I just didn't say anything. We, I know somebody that could probably 3D model us that. And matter of fact, if they're watching the podcast, I'll probably just do it anyway. That's awesome. You know who you are. You must do it now. Uh, because uh, moving the, on to other. Well, hang on. The the the, the, per, the person just sent oh. me something like yesterday that they three D modeled. Uh, I don't know what they were using. If they were using Blender or what, but he he sent me something that he three D modeled and it was pretty awesome. So I'm yeah. sure he would do it. If you're watching, you know who you are. Can you can you model a clear glass of water with like a biscuit floating in it? Please. A, car- a cartoon biscuit, too. Yeah, a cartoon like, make biscuit. It, make it toony. Yeah. Please, you know who you are if you're watching this. Go ahead, Sam. You're being called out. Uh, um, In your free other time. events next week. Uh, it will be the show Tech Test comes out on Wednesday, the 15th. We plan on doing a live stream for that. So go check yeah. that out on Friday. Yeah. Sims and I. Test live stream. Uh, yep. Chase, you got any other? I know that you had like a a list of things you were going through before you got cut off. Yes. Um, what now? It doesn't look like there's a much, very many interesting things. Okay. All right. Fair other enough. Other than other than like Octopath Traveler's beta came out, I believe yesterday. Oh. Octopath Two. What is that? Yeah. Is it's a, Travel it's a, we've been talking about. It's like a... Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like a JRPG. Did you guys get to... Uh... It, it, Go ahead, Tyler. I'm sorry. It's a, it, it's a pixel side-scroller JRPG. Okay, all right. Cool, cool. That sounds fun. Sounds like kind of some of my jam, maybe. It's, uh, it's, it's very... It feels very Final Fantasy, but like side-scroller mm-hmm. and like... Yeah. Like cutesy, sort of. Oh, it's also a really good. It. I played a demo for uh, the first one. Um, I don't know. It seems weird. Oh, it is like, a little weird, like a, but it's really fun. I I played mm. through like every, like almost every part of the first one, and got like a super stacked team. And then I was gonna go fight the secret final boss, and I figured out that you have to have two teams to fight the final boss. Dang! And it took me like oh. fourteen or fifteen tries to beat the first part of it. And then it scrolled up to the second part of it, and I was like, oh my god, I have to use another, the other four characters for this. Jeez. That you haven't touched. Yeah. Um, and then you looked it up, and people were like, oh. yeah, the first phase was the easy phase. <laughs> Dick, did you hear that uh, 
Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. I was just. Hey, they got what? A release date. date. Uh, it's May something, right? What? It's that soon? Yeah, it's May something. Hang on, bro. Hang on. They announced that back at the. My mouse is moving real. Slow. Hang on. They well, announced that way that back. Direction. While you're while yeah, you're looking that up, also today. Uh, also, um, PSVR, PSVR two, bro. I swear to God. Go ahead. What? Are you gonna interrupt me a third time? <laughs> I'm sorry, my mouse is moving slow. I don't give a crap about your mouse. Let me talk. PSVR 2 comes out the 22nd of this month. Pigman 4? Whatever Pigman we're on? They got a release date, too. Or Pig- may- no. Pigman 4? Yeah. Breath yeah. of the Wild is it's set... It's in July. Wild, good gummit. Breath of the Wild 2. Tears of the Kingdom, set to release May 12th, 2023. My mouse is working again. What's Pigman 4's release date? Um, Pigman 4. It's July something. Pigman 4, it just says initial, initial release 2023. Didn't say anything yet. Is that for yeah, pre-order, though? They announced it yesterday. I'll go to, I'll go to IGN. I I'll, I'll go look it up. IGN. A lot of stuff got announced in the direct, but like a lot of that was kind of like not super influential to me. It says July 20th, 2023. Yep. Anyway. Um, Other events next week Ant Man and the Lost, Artemania, comes out the 17th as well. And uh, Wakanda, Go ahead, Tom. Wakanda Forever is on um, Disney Plus now too. Yep. Didn't it go up like yeah. immediately after the movie came out? No, it was like two weeks, I think, or so. Mm. It's it's pretty. They've 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 released them pretty soon after they come out in theaters now. Yeah, which I love. Metroid Metroid Prime Four, isn't that the other one that got announced too? No. Metroid Prime Remastered okay. got, um, got released. I got you. And if you're a Nintendo Switch Online member, you can play Game Boy games. I did hear about oh, that's that. that's cool. I did hear about that. So, you can play Pokemon again, huh? Mm-hmm. On the Switch. Yeah. Not cool. yet. Not yet. Some of them. Oh, what's the point? Like, the, the one everybody would want to play, they're like, not yet, not yet. Then what's the point? Yeah. Nintendo, that's such a Nintendo thing. It is. It really is. We're 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 gonna make um we're gonna make it where you can play um Game Boy games on the Switch. Yay, Pokemon! No, not Pokemon. No, wait. Then why? The Pokemon the the TCG, that one, it's on there. Why would you put the TCG game on there? But n- literally none of the ones that people are gonna play. People don't even. I bet you people don't even know that they made that game. I didn't know they made the that TCG? game. Yes, the TCG I game. Did. I didn't know about it. I have it on GBA. I didn't know. Not GBA. I did GB. not know that existed. I doubt it works, but I've got it. Hmm. It, I it, pulled that Charizard on mine. It's what? What Tyler? I said, what is it? It's you play the Pokemon card game and you go and beat gym leaders at the card game. Uh, With your card. That's the game. You, that, you just you play the Pokemon TCG. That sounds super unfun. It is. Oh. It's super unfun. Marvel, speaking, speaking of card games, Marvel Snap's newest season, Quantumania, is now live. Yeah, you guys as got well a lot of cool as, stuff, right? As well as the Silver Surfer nerf and the Zabu nerf. 
So far, server is still broken, though. Yeah, they gave him, like, uh, they gave him power and might reduce the ability that he buffed by one. Yeah. I started playing Surfer before they nerfed him. I was like, dang, this card really is broke. And then, like, after they nerfed him, I was like, dang, this card is still pretty broke. <laughs> it's one of those like, things where you, you start using a card, and then, like, a week later, they're like, well, we're going to fix this. If, if that isn't magic it, in a nutshell. Yeah. A bunch of people are mad about it, though, because, like, those were two season pass cards. So like you essentially paid to have those cards, and now they're and now they're, they're like time to nerf the cards. So it's like a pack. Man, it feels like sun setting in destiny, huh, Tyler? Yes, I know <laughs> this pain. You, know you want to go I, on that I, rant again? I, I felt these shadows overtake my soul once before. I shall not fall victim to them again. Ah. But, um, yeah, game companies like to do that. They're like, we'll let you play with it when it's OP for a little while. And then we cancel it. Or we fix it. And so, then once too many people start doing it, we got to get rid of it. Yep. Yeah, we don't want it to become the same meta for everybody. Uh, what games have everybody been playing uh, to quickly round out the podcast? Because uh, we've been going for a little bit over an hour and a half. I've been playing Hogwarts and Dead Space, and they are both incredible. Yeah, we really need to, to uh, get a Dead Space video yeah, we out. Yeah, we really need to get a Dead Space video out. I'm because gonna, I've never played it. Uh, I'm, I might try and bring it Monday, uh, and then we can do the excellent challenge, and maybe later afterward play a little bit of Dead Space. Maybe. We will Because you'll be fine. Just me and Peyton will be suffering yeah. internally. Oh gosh, that means that y'all are going to be blowing this room up. Uh, uh-huh, we're going to be egg-gassing you out. Goodness gracious. But, um, but Dead Space, oh my god, is incredible. It's it's what every remake should strive to be. And, I've heard a lot of people um, say that it's possibly the best remake ever for a game. I have also heard that, and I would venture to agree. Because it is... It's so similar to the original. It gives you that little nostalgic itch you want. But it also has unique, fun things. Mm-hmm. And the graphics are, oh my god. Amazing. They are perfect. They what? are perfect. Um, it, it, the graphics are so detailed that when you shoot a necromorph, whatever part of them you shot takes tissue damage. Oh, which that's is, cool. It blows, blows my mind. Yeah. Like when, when you shoot a necromorph's arm... One time, you can see their bone and their muscle. And then when you shoot them again, it tears it off. That's really awesome. But like, and when you shoot them with the force gun, it rips their whole first layer of skin off. And they're just like a skeleton muscle man running at you. And it's the funniest thing in the world. But that game, crazy, amazing, good. And Hogwarts is also good, but I've been saying that this whole time. Right. So. Tyler's been playing it as we've been doing the podcast. It is fun. I can't yeah. get enough of it. Um, Chase, what about you? What it you been is. playing? We've been, we've been playing a little bit of GTA, and then started back playing Probably. Pixelmon again yesterday. Yeah, you said you finally got it to work again? Yeah, finally. Curse Forge finally started working again. I don't know why it didn't for a little while, but it wouldn't let me join servers and stuff. Right. And I just updated it. Pretty much <laughs> the easiest and simple way to Diagnose the problem. Yeah. That's probably what the problem Marvel was. Snap. Yeah, I've been playing Marvel Snap. Doing doing uh regular schmegular little stuff. And I'm waiting on Octopath Traveler's beta to download. Nice. Sounds like you've been having a good time, Sims. What about you? I've been playing Hogwarts Legacy as well. Mm-hmm. Um haven't gotten as far as Tyler. But I, I also recommend it. If you like Harry Potter, it's an incredible game. And if you don't like Harry Potter, it's still an incredible game. Yeah. It's a lot I of fun. Would, I, would, I would compare it to, like, sort of, sort of like a Star Wars uh, Fallen Jedi, where 
even if you don't really aren't really akin to the universe, it's such a fun game that it'll make you want to indulge in the rest of the Harry Potter right. stuff. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Like, and I felt like this one is like under the precursor that you have to understand previous Harry Potter stuff, right? Because like, I feel like if you've never watched a Harry Potter movie or never read any of the books, there are some things that you probably wouldn't really understand. The then like the name of the shops, like Ollivander, and like all the different shop names, right. but like. Other than that, I would but, say, like... Go ahead. No, I was just saying, like, other than that, like, I feel like even if, you, if you've if never watched Harry Potter or don't understand any of this, you could still pick up this game and play it and, like, kind of understand, like, what yeah, the universe there's is. Yeah, so, honestly, there are so few things that you wouldn't... That, like, you probably if you watch the Harry Potter the stuff... But like whenever I mean, you get I mean, this it, phone, it's like this or like when Guardian love you, so like if you don't know what that is, yeah, but they, it are, tells you what they do. Yeah, but um, it, you might it's not like what Quidditch is. That's true. The um, game there are a few, explain that. There are a few things that you wouldn't directly pick up on, but honestly, it's not enough to keep you from understanding the game or like enjoying mm-hmm. it. Right. And honestly, honestly, the things that you were like that you'd be like, oh, who is this would make you want to go look further into it. And it would other, be like, like, it, Harry it'd be like if you skipped all the Marvel movies and just watch in game. It's still a very good yeah. movie. But you probably wouldn't understand. Mm-hmm. Perhaps, but like, then that would make you it would make you want to go back. It would make you want to go back and then watch the other ones to understand them further. Yeah. I feel like it's a good gateway into the Harry Potter part of the universe. It definitely is. Really is. Uh, Of course, you guys know that I've been playing GTA a little bit. been playing with Jason Tyler. A little bit with Tanner, Mm -hmm. too. Um, And y'all watched me on stream last night. I beat Skyrim finally for the first time ever. Yeah. That that was the first time. We got two achievements last night on stream. Uh, (laughs) And we'll probably... I'm going to stream. I know we're streaming the MLB stuff uh, next week. I do want to pick up and start streaming a little bit more, and I think we're going to be playing some different games, so stick around for that. Do you want to try and stream GTA sometime soon? Uh, honestly, I was thinking about if I get the podcast done pretty quick, we could try and stream it tonight. Only thing is... Uh, we, yeah, we could. What time do you have to go to work, Jace? I'll have to leave there in about an hour. Okay. Um, we're now. Well... It would just be you and me then, Tyler. I was, tell- I was telling you about that that trophy and it would be the show that was like, play on this difficulty. I had to delete yeah. my game and re-download it to reset my difficulty. Yeah, because twice. Yeah, because you said for some wow. reason they didn't put it in there that you can just change the game's difficulty whenever you want to. For some reason, yeah, that's a real. That so that they won't really let you, dumb. They won't let you like. Cause you so like here's what happened was like I re I downloaded the game redownloaded it and was like all right start me at big beginning of difficulty well like beginning of difficulty I was like up to bat I hit like get a single so I it like yeah. jumps me out a little bit so pitching first dude I was like three straight strikes and it was like it jumped me from beginner to veteran and it was like. You're too good at this game, so it didn't give me the trophies for either of them. Because you have to like naturally go wow. from beginner to like uh, minor to rookie to whatever the next one is. Mm-hmm. So I had to like delete it and re-download it. And the first guy, instead of like just striking him out on three pitches, I had to like walk him. So like wouldn't just jump me to better. You had to intentionally be bad. Yeah. That's really lame. We should also I'm probably hit up before everything's over. We should probably hit up that we hit 670 today. We did. And today we hit we 670. To, I, yeah, I we need to set way. up something to do for that. <laughs> um, We have an idea. We're not going to say it here in case it doesn't pan out, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about it afterwards, guys. We'll, well, we talked about it in the Discord already, but we've got an idea. We'll just have to see the workings of it. 
we will set set something up. Yes, we'll we got something set. Figure out what it is. Yeah. We should. Hey, well, um, what I think would be a good idea. We have a punishment for whoever loses. Okay. okay. We'll have to see for what that is. Fails the golf the most times. What now? Make somebody take an ice bath. <laughs> Ooh. You do the ice oh, bucket challenge. Yeah. And then yeah, just make somebody like peak last winter a long here. Time. <laughs> Either of that, one of those, it, that'd be fine. We can talk about that afterwards. But um, thank you guys for so much for watching the podcast. Uh, like we said, this is going to kind of be the new format. Um, we hope that you enjoy it. Uh, I think, to be honest with you, I think this is probably the best podcast has been in a, in a few weeks, honestly. Uh, well, it's honestly, this is the most people we've been able to have. Yeah, we're we're all uh, we're all in our own places. We're all comfortable. Uh, we're not all in my kitchen or dining room or having to be crowded in my office. So I think I think this is I, I like this for the podcast, to be honest. But uh, we yeah, hope we you also like got it. we also got your uh. Your cup right there, getting a little uh PS. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see that. What? He's talking about my yeah, cup. He has, he has exactly just PS was on the side of yeah. it, like he was a little footnote at the bottom of his uh podcast. Hi everybody, you know what time it is. Let's hit up the game real quick. Sam said to what? dip out. Oh, app game. I'm gonna check your I forgot about that. How do you do? Go to the store again. Yeah, go to the store. Uh, manage apps and devices. Yep, I only have five. I've got eighteen. Twenty-seven. Nineteen. We just learned though uh, that Sims has a hundred and twenty apps, I and I only have sixty. Apps. So of course, how do you he's see how many you have? I have one hundred and thirty-three. Sims, explain explain it after. Uh, hang right. on, I, I, explain it afterwards. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up and uh, uh clo- and sign us off. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the podcast. We hope that you enjoyed it. We hope that you will go check out some of our other videos. We still got a lot of gaming content coming. Uh, I stream every Thursday night at um 6:30 on Twitch. Uh, link is in the description below. You can follow Thanks, us on please. Instagram. You can follow us on Twitter. You can follow us on TikTok. All of those links are in the description below as well. Um. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Stick around. 60 second news every Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we've got 60 second gaming news that Sims does. Um, we've got the excellent challenge. We're filming it Monday. So today, as you're watching this video, hopefully we'll be filming it and it will be out a- as soon as possible. Wish so, us of luck. Um, also, uh, we are going to try to get the Dead Space out eventually. Yes, we're going to try to do that. And also... I would like to know if anyone wants to watch Jake play Harry Potter or play the Hogwarts game, Hogwarts I would, Legacy. I would play that on stream just to play it because I've never played it. Before. Honestly, I think you should. I think you'd love it. I do. I do. Like I said, I want to start streaming more just because I'm a viewer. I, that it's happening to me with Skyrim. Of I'm getting so sick of just Continue playing Skyrim. Of I feel like if I'm playing more games, it would be a little palate cleanser. But anyway, we we'll we'll, we'll figure something out for that. Uh, let us know in the comments down below if you want to see me play Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, and tell tell us in the comments, do you think Sims and uh, Tyler will be able to successfully complete the excellent, excuse me, challenge, or will they fail? Uh, please. Also, put in your prediction for what you think the final score will be in a nine-ending game between me and Jake on Friday. <laughs> Yeah, you can do a prediction yeah. on who's going to win and it'll be the show. Us. No, it's not a prediction. It's what the final score will be. Sure, go ahead. Um, Please, if you like our content, click that subscribe button. Turn on the bell for notifications so you get notified when we post a video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye.